We're dodging bullets here at the premiere of Free Fire. Hey guys, I'm Gabby here, and we're gonna be talking to the cast about their experience with this film. Stay tuned. Leave with our money. Uh -huh. And I'm sure that you boys would like to leave with the weapons. <laughs> I mean, not only was this a smaller set, this was one room. So we basically shot the whole thing in one warehouse. Uh, it's funny because you think, oh, we'll shoot it in one room, that'll be easier. But the devil's in the details, especially if it's something that small. So it, it was great. I mean, Ben and and Hugh, I'm sorry, Ben and Lori are the DP. Like, they all thought of everything. So we were really free to move around in the space because they'd done all the heavy lifting for us. Justine, as gorgeous as ever. The wardrobe and the look, like getting to do the 70s and my guy got, you know, snakeskin boots and like gold chains and just, uh, <laughs> all of us I think when we heard it was 70s were just like, oh that's going to be so much fun. It really, really was fun to, to wear that stuff and um, the, the costume on this one really informed a lot for me. Uh, the beard. Yeah, maybe the beard. Uh, coincidentally, it's my wife's least favorite part. She hated it, uh, but I really liked having a beard. Yeah. The challenge more with this was actually, interestingly enough, something that I didn't see coming. Uh, I've done a lot of action movies, and so I was like, well, you know, there's not massive action things in this. Uh, it was the noise and the fact that Ben does very long takes with a lot of shooting and a lot of practical explosions going off at certain times. So uh, we were we were doing a lot of the movie with earplugs. So you do your acting with your earplugs in, which really is sort of it sort of throws you a little, and um, and then kind of having to choreograph stuff where you'll move past something that's going to blow up as you've moved past it, and that was really had everyone on their toes. It was incredibly dangerous. Probably the most dangerous stuff I've ever done, where your face is going past like charges, and if the prosthetics guys get it wrong, it's going to blow up in your face. But everyone was really sort of on their game and and very focused. So it was actually more dangerous and a little more tricky than I had anticipated. I thought like, ah, oh, it's nothing. And I got to set myself on fire, which was great too. I'd never done a burn in a stunt, and so that was pretty serious. They did that right at the end for insurance purposes as it happens, yeah. All right, that's it from this premiere. Stay tuned for more from Sneak Peek.